Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel and this is the, um, of course, another video talking about the November 2019 update. Um, some of you have been asking me what um, underlying changes, what are the major differences between um, the version, um, you know, the May 2019 update and this version that is worth mentioning and I think that the major difference that is worth mentioning is that there's almost no difference. Uh, a lot of you have noticed and said why are they keeping the features turned off? Why is it? Well it's very simple. I think what happened here and I think that's the logical reason behind all of this is that they kept the they tested some features they turned them on for some insiders and then they turned them off and a lot of them will be off the majority of them will be off by the time this gets to everybody so people say well why issue an update well i think this is like i said i posted a video talking about how this update is probably the update you want to have because it's probably the update that fixes pretty much windows 10 uh, overall and really really makes a better operating system of Windows 10 suddenly. The reason they had these features is because they pr they wanted to test out if when the features are on or off the same updates that apply to May 2019 update will apply to November 2019 update and I think that was the major test here. Thing is Remember that the November 2019 update is really just a bug fixing update mostly and that this will have the same updates that the May 2019 update gets. So when you see a post that says a cumulative update is available for May 2019 update, you will also automatically see that there's an update for the November 2019 update. And that is simple because it's the same 1903 kind of upgraded slightly once again kind of a service pack so honestly the November 2019 update is is 1903 bug fixed basically and very little new things to look at so that's where this is going to be interesting because um, in, in, in this version it's, it's going to be different from the past every single version since Windows 10 came out had new features to offer it was a feature update. It was a big update. They're still calling it a feature update. It's just as there's really nothing much in features. That's it. And uh, once again, it's really, really mostly about bug fixes. A lot of you also been asking, uh, of course, we have no dates, but there's one thing that we might actually know about the uh, update is that um, what's coming up in the first half of November is Microsoft Ignite. And we expect to have a lot of Windows-related news in Microsoft Ignite. Um, I was uh, listening to uh, the podcast uh, Windows Weekly with uh, Mary Jo Foley and uh, Paul Taroth. What they are hearing is that there's going to be a lot of announcement about Windows 10. So this is interesting because I think we might actually learn a lot from Ignite about the direction Windows 10 is going to take. And we're possibly going to get, you know, maybe they're going to say it's available now. Maybe they're going to say an official date for the November 2019 update. We'll also maybe learn more about 20H1 that has been very slow in new features. So uh, all of that is going to be in the first week of November. So that's also something to take a look at. And I'll be following this closely, of course. So you know, you don't have to geek out and, and watch these things. I'll, I'll post videos and resume pretty much what was in those announcements. So, uh, you know, hang in there. Um, like I said, this is probably, for a lot of people, the update you might want to have. Once again, of course, you know, you might want to wait. We'll see how the update rolls out. On my PCs, it works great. Uh, we'll see if it works great for everybody. But this might be the version of Windows 10 that is worth checking out. And uh, then you can, you know, stay there for at least 18 months before you're forced to a new, a new version. The last question that I have, a lot of people have been asking me, is this the new norm, a big update followed by a small update? 
No, we, we don't have any indication that that's a new norm. What we have right now is indication is two updates next year. No information as the second update could be a smaller one. Honestly, that would be the best thing. You know, the 20H1 being a big feature update and 20H2 being kind of a cumulative update bug fixing style like this one is. Um, maybe that would actually make it a little easier on Windows 10 for people that are kind of going a little crazy over the uh, Windows 10 environment. We'll be posting a series of videos uh, probably tomorrow that will be uh, the top 10 questions about Windows 10, any version. Really, they're going to be more general type questions because um, I get a lot of questions and I've been aggregating the questions. And I think this is going to be an interesting uh, top 10 questions uh, in 10 separate videos because I want to address each one in a sh short video rather than have a 25 minute video about 10 things to talk about. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.